A number of attacks, women, over the past few weeks. Would you know how to get away if you were grabbed? You may not think about what to do until you become a victim, and then it could be too late. Think about it now and learn now so you're prepared. Just looking at Michelle Wilkerson Gary walk down the street, you might not think that she could literally kill you with her bare hands. The 60-year-old Cleveland resident says learning how to protect herself saved her life on several occasions, including when someone tried to rape her. It was frightening because I knew the strength and I knew the capabilities of my art. And I knew that the person that was attempting to cause me harm was in more danger than I was. For nearly 40 years, Michelle has mastered the technique of gung fu. The martial artist says it's important to have the skills to protect yourself because you never know when or where you could face danger. Break everything you touch. Then the physical and the mental start pulling together and you start preparing yourself for battle. It's dark. Master Greg Mayo is an instructor at Northern Wind in Cleveland, where he teaches people the skills they need to stay safe, okay. using their body as a weapon. Right. They need to understand that by using their hand and feet flowing as one, they can usually take care of a situation. Master Greg says there are several things you can do to protect yourself if someone's trying to harm you. An elbow to the chest, a hand to the face, and go for the throat. But fighting back doesn't end there. Give a kick to the inner and top of the knees. A kick down the shin can also take down your attacker long enough for you to run away. We must be able to at least escape death, if nothing else. All right, this may sound cliche, but always be aware of your surroundings, especially when you get in and out of your car. Don't be distracted on your cell phone. That's a perfect time for bad guys to target you. Well, the news of